Welcome into this week's Degrees of Science. A lot of excitement about the April 8th, 2024 total solar eclipse that will work right through the center of Texas and through several other states. We had a lot of questions from folks wondering about this eclipse, so we talked to our experts and compiled some answers to those questions. It's going to be very, very cool, and it is one of the unique experiences that we have. And nature gets a lot confused <laughs> when the total solar eclipse happens. Uh, babies cry, uh, you're going to hear cicadas, uh, because the nature understands it's becoming nighttime. Um, I wouldn't cross the street to watch a 50% or partial eclipse, but we should travel around the world <laughs> to watch a total solar eclipse. It's a really unique experience. I'm usually saying that uh, watching a total solar eclipse is a visceral experience because you know it's coming, but when you get to see the, the diamond ring, it's fabulous. The moon will cover the last bit of uh, the bright sun. And uh, during this last bit, you can uh, get some phenomena. With your eclipse glasses, you can see just the broken up limb of the sun, uh, that the little bit that's not yet uh, covered up. And that's, you know, it's broken up because a little bit of the sun is shining through just, um, you know, a few uh, valleys along the uh, moon's limb. Uh, edge. And uh, those are called Bailey beads. Um, and then after that, uh, uh, the moon will continue to move over the uh, the disk of the sun. And uh, these Bailey beads will only be there a few seconds before there's just one left. And uh, that can be just a, a, like a, a very bright final light of the sun shining through some uh, deep valleys in the moon uh, along the edge of the moon. And uh, around the rim, you see, uh, you can start to see the glow of the uh, outer atmosphere of the sun called the corona. And uh, that is called the diamond ring effect because it looks like that last bit of light that's shining through the valleys is like a diamond and the uh, rest of the uh, um, surrounding uh, faintly glowing atmospheres like the ring. For the next uh, uh, three or four minutes, depending where you're at, the moon will completely cover the bright part of the sun. And then it's, it's, uh, it's just incredibly dramatic if you're, um, uh, I, I think if you're a human being, <laughs> and, and if you're even an animal, apparently, because animals actually react to it too, because they aren't expecting it to get night and to get night that rapidly and at that time of the day. But uh, for us humans, you can see the a part of the sun that you do not ever see in your normal life. The corona is the outer layer of the sun. So if you can see that it's a, it's a diffuse kind of gas material that is around the sun, we cannot see it because the density is very low. Uh, so what, when there is an eclipse, the sun is being, the, the surface of the sun, the photosphere is being covered by the moon, and we can see faint stuff. So you can see this diffuse structure on top of it. Well, once in a lifetime yes. opportunity, and the 2024 eclipse will be coming right down Interstate 35 and we actually anticipate a million visitors coming through this area. So move out of your house, rent your house out. <laughs> uh, I went to the one, uh, the last one a few years ago, I went to Hiawatha, Kansas, little town of 1,200, 6,000 wow. people. And many of the people actually did uh, rent their homes for $1,000 a night. <laughs> because people were there from all over the world, and uh, it was uh, remarkable. Uh, one interesting thing is that you should put your glasses like this and then look at the sun and then put them down and take them off. Don't be looking at the sun and then taking that. That's a big <laughs> mistake. But um, if you had glasses from the past eclipse, 
and this is my my old ones. They are very used. <laughs> Don't use those, okay? They they have a, a shelf a lifetime of 18 months, and the Total Solar Eclipse was in 2017. But if you want to buy yourself something, I, I yeah, think I it's really... I know about really, this. This is really cool. <laughs> yeah, so you can buy a Sunnoculus. This, you cannot see anything. They're pretty <laughs> black, and they cost about $20, but you can find them. But again, from the same websites that you can get those glasses, and, and those you can actually use right now and see the solar spots.